So if somebody goes out and buys a gun as a magic talisman against evil, um, they're not armed, you know, they're, they're equipped. Maybe I'll give them that. I think training is right now very critical and essential because there is a lot of new gun owners who've never owned a gun before and now they're armed and they don't and they're not properly trained. Yeah, I, I don't even know if they're armed. They own guns. You know, I, I always say that being armed is a state of mind, you know, it's a way of life. It's not about a tool, but um, so, so if somebody goes out and buys a gun as a magic talisman against evil, um, they're not armed, you know, they're, they're equipped. Maybe I'll give them that. Um, armed includes the, the capability to use it well and the forethought for how to use it and when to use it. So the, the type of person, you know, I, I've been a little bit like jaded and curmudgeon, like cynical guy on the whole new gun owners thing. First of all, I think the number of new gun owners that are truly new has been way overplayed by our side. Um, you know, I've been, I've traveled all over the country consistently. I did spend one day, one 26 hour period in this apartment without any visitors, um, without my daughter here. So that was my one quarantine day, I guess. But I've been all over the place. I have a lot of friends that run gun shops. Obviously a lot of my hosts that host classes are also gun shops. And, you know, maybe 25 to 35% of the, the gun purchases that were record gun purchases in March and April uh, and May, um, we're, we're truly new and that's great. I mean, I believe me, I welcome them. I welcome the tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands over the course of the last three months, new gun owners. Uh, but the idea that somebody who's going out to panic buy a gun because of a viral pandemic, that person's not interested in training. That person's not interested in coming to a class, you know, like, like it, it, they're not interested in watching personal defense network videos unless we as a gun community, and unless the person who sold them the gun as a responsible firearms owner or firearms dealer or firearms shop employee really push that and encourage that, you know, this person's panic buying. Um, and it's up to us over the next years, the next few years to encourage them to be part of the gun community and become educated. You know, I've gone through a bunch of these cycles, you know, all the way back to the 1994 assault weapons ban. I mean, I remember people coming to me in 94, 95, 96, when I was just teaching in my backyard range in Tennessee, like, oh yeah, I bought this gun because I wasn't gonna be able to buy one. They show up with an SKS or an AR or something, no idea how to use it. And this is a year, two, three years later. And we saw it with 9-11, we saw it after Sandy Hook. Um, and I'm sure that we're, those of us in the training industry are gonna see it over the next few years. There's gonna be people that show up to classes two years from now who say, I bought a gun, when the virus was going on and then it's, I just kind of never, I, you know, never did anything with it. I've always been meaning to take a class. I'm finally here to take a class and I'm excited about it. And that's great. Like, but the sooner the better. And the way we do that is by setting the example, by making it known that if you bought a gun, you aren't armed, you might get lucky and be able to use it to defend yourself. You're armed properly when you come and take some classes and you get some practice. A uh, good point there. I'm just looking forward to buy uh, secondhand guns that have never been fired. Yeah, or, really. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Out and it's not like me. I've got, I've probably got a few guns in the safe that I've never fired, but it's one of 150 or 200, right? I'm talking about the guy that's got one gun and he's never yeah. fired. Well, well, that's the one I'm hoping to buy from. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> For cheap.